You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, Aquarius and Aquarius rising. Welcome to November. All right, so your top three focuses this month are going to be your allies and your passions, things that you love without condition, two, your reputation, your home life, and that personal empowerment, and three, your overall health and wealth. Now let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this month, we have a lot of potent energy at the very first part of it that we're going to unpack throughout the month. And that first thing is going to be a new moon in Scorpio. And this is pivotal for you because it's happening in a very public area of your life, especially if you're an Aquarius rising. This has to do with your sense of purpose, your reputation, how you're known in the world. It could have to do with authority figures or even your parents. This is a great time to set new moon intentions. Think about what you are ready to release, what you want to build. Like, this is where I'm at. These are my goals, and I'm going to move forward. And how it's going to impact every corner of your life, your homework, life balance, your partnerships and you as an individual. Now, on the very next day after this new moon, Mercury is going to move into Sagittarius. Now, there's something to be mindful about here. Now, when Mercury's in Sagittarius, it's blunt, it's truth, it's expansion. It really asks you to seek new ideas and lean into your wisdom. And it's going to be an area that has to do with your allies, your friend groups, really connecting with your clients, your mindset, and communication overall. So there's going to be a lot of expansion here. But between November the 7th and November the 25th, Mercury is crossing its shadow. And what that means is when we get to the 25th of November, Mercury is going to go in retrograde. It's going to go back over everything it did between November the 7th and November the 25th. So be mindful of the alliances and what you say, what you post, what you kind of put out there and realize that you may have to walk some things back. You may have to review it or look at it differently. Or maybe this friend group that you thought was amazing, you're going to have to kind of see a different side of them and make some decisions about that as you go forward. It's always something to keep in mind. Remember, we don't get exempt from these retrogrades, but being conscious of them can definitely help us navigate through them in a co-creative way. Now, on November the 3rd, we have a pretty intense energy that we're working with. It has to do with Pluto and Mars. Now, you have touched on this energy not on the exact degrees, but in the neighborhood in June of 21 and in June of 2019. And this is a tug of war, push pull energy that you're feeling on a mind and body balance. Something that has to do with your habits and your ritual, but also things that have to do with that subconscious, the subliminal behind the scenes. And there's been a lot of big endings and beginnings and, and just an internal tug of war that you're working with. And if you can reflect on those past years, You're going to understand what this culminating point is trying to teach you. It's really to tap into that internal power and take action that protects what you want to nurture and care about, but in a positive way. And and that's a heavy energy that you've been feeling towards the end of October. And we're going to unpack this because of Mars being in its shadow, kind of dancing around all the way into the spring. So this is a marathon, not a sprint. It's all about that internal power to find your external strength and how you want to partner and work with other people and how you want to partner and be present with other people. Now, on that same day, right after that opposition, Mars will move into Leo. But something to, to note about that is Mars is also in its shadow. So it's going to retrograde. It's not going to go very deep into Leo. But when Mars moves into Leo, it's going to capitalize on your partnerships, how you connect one-on-one with people, your clients, Things have to do with contracts. It could also be relationships, romantic relationships. It's going to impact that whole work-life balance and who you are as an individual. It's going to be very noteworthy. But again, be very cautious about agreements and contracts that you make because there's another side to this. There's going to be a revision that you're going to have to tap into down the road. So being conscious of that is going to help you co-create. Now, a couple days after that, on November the 11th, we do have Venus moving into Capricorn. And when Venus moves into Capricorn, it's going to drop into a very private area of your life, behind the scenes, the subconscious, the subliminal, that mind and body balance, that same area that Pluto has been working on for a long time. Now, in Capricorn, Venus is grounded. It's practical, but it's also looking at what makes sense. Like, am I doing something that's going to build towards something that's timeless. So you're going to really look at that ancestral level, something around your home, your legacy, even your finances, how you think and communicate within. Does this make sense? It's going to be a great time to attract. Venus is a very magnetic planet to attract the solutions that you're looking for or to attract healthy ways to end and begin things. More so ending right now, the beginnings come later. 
Now, as I mentioned in your top three, one of your focuses for this month is your overall health and wealth. And that, that happens a couple of times. Not only do we have that new moon that has to do with, you know, your reputation that flows into the habits, the rituals, the overall health and wealth that you have. But on the 15th, Saturn is going to move direct. And Saturn's focused on your resources, your earning power, and your skill sets that you have to build those resources. So there could have been something that you've been reviewing or even building if you were born with a retrograde Saturn since June. And now you're ready to go forward with it. And you're going to get an early indicator of what that is or an epiphany early in the month. Because around the 4th, I believe it is, the sun is going to be in trine with Saturn, right around that new moon energy. So pay attention to those early ideas because that's going to help you know what actions that you're going to take with Saturn when it moves forward on the 15th. Now, on that same day, the 15th, November the 15th, we have a full moon in Taurus. And you're definitely going to notice this for a couple of reasons. One, if you're Aquarius rising, this is happening in an angular house. It's close to your home, your roots, your foundation, your actual home, your ancestries, wherever you feel nested and comfortable. Now, the ruler of this moon is Venus, and Venus is in Capricorn. So you're going to, again, notice some things on the subconscious, behind the scenes, private matters. There's going to be a big flow or influx because full moons bring a lot of energy, a lot of emotion to this area of your life. Now, they always reveal something we're trying to celebrate. Remember, we set new moon intentions at the beginning of the month around your career and your sense of purpose. And now we're seeing how those seeds are blossoming at our foundational level. However, even though this is a very fixed, grounded energy of Taurus answering to Venus, who's also in a very earthy sign, but an uh, earthy sign that likes to take action, this full moon is conjunct Uranus, which has a, a bit of a chaos component to it. And chaos is creation. In order to create, sometimes we have to break things down or break through them to have that epiphany to see something new. So there could be some unexpected news around your home. And, and that news is going to branch up into every corner of your life. And whatever that is, it can be very exciting. It could be very challenging. However you perceive it, just trust that these breakthroughs, breakdowns, this chaos that Uranus brings, this lightning bolt, it always leads us to a better place. And sometimes it doesn't feel like that when it first happens, but keeping that in mind is definitely going to help you again, co-create with the universe as you move through this month. Now, a couple of days later, Pluto is going to officially move into your sign, Aquarius. It's teased, it's flirted over the last year or so, but now it is there for good and for true for the next 20 years. So I would definitely encourage you to reflect on some of those early lessons that you've learned with Pluto. I think a lot of people that I've worked with, they've lost jobs, but they've found better ones. They've lost relationships, but they're happier now because they're in a better one. You really reflect on how endings lead to beginnings and really digging in and noticing where you surrender your power and how you use the power you have and how you can balance that with a healthy mind over body energy. That's going to be a long term, a long marathon that you're working with. You're going to feel this in every corner of your life. All right. So on the 21st, we have the sun moving into Sagittarius. So this is going to definitely highlight, again, those areas that have to do with your allies, your reputation, people you're connected to, the things that you're very passionate about. But just a couple of days later is when we have Mercury going into retrograde on November the 25th. So though there's a lot of excitement when it comes to those allies and those groups and those connections, there's also going to be some revision. It could be that you have a different vision of a group that you're associated with. You're inspired. You're motivated. Revisions in that retrograde is not meant to set you back. It's meant to ensure that you are aligned with the greatest and highest opportunity hidden right there in plain sight. Keeping that in mind will definitely help you navigate this up and down twisting energy that we're working with in November. And if you want to get a little bit deeper, be sure to check out the Moon Gateway membership. Not only do you have discounts on working with me, but you also have a calendar that has written horoscopes in it. And you can also be sure to dial into the channel because we do have a lot of daily drop-ins to say this is the energy that we're working with. It'll definitely help you stay in rhythm, Aquarius. It's going to be a big month. See you next time.